sponsored by Bet365. Back for round three of Tuck's tips at rugby.com.au. First things first, Tuck. Apologies for ever doubting you in that Bulls Cheaters game, mate. It is Tuck's tips after all. The Cheaters always had them covered. They always had them covered. It wasn't the greatest week, five from eight. A couple of uh, last minute uh, changes by the, uh, the, the the Crusaders getting that, that win and also the, the Brumbies losing to the Sharks cost me. But um, mate, it was a good week of football. I thought the Highlanders Crusaders match was a cracker. Tough week to tip. Back into round three, we've got the Brumbies taking on the Force. Uh, a great homegrown battle there. The Brumbies have beaten the Force in their last six games, Tuck. It's going to be tough for the Force to come over to Canberra. Yeah, it's going to be tough for the Force. They've lost their six encounters to the Brumbies, but they're going really well. The loss of Adam Coleman this week uh, will be a big loss, uh, although he was missing for most of the game last week, and they still got the win. That was a great win against the Reds last week at home. But the, the Brumbies need to find something. Fardy been dropped for this week. Very interesting selection. I thought he hadn't been playing that badly, but I guess when you sign overseas, that's what could happen. So it's going to be a very interesting game. Tough for the force, but they're showing a lot of, a lot of, lot of backbone this year, and the Brumbies need to win desperately. It's going to be tough. The Reds take on the Crusaders at home, tuck up at Suncorp. They've lost their last four against the New Zealand franchise. In fact, the last time they won was that grand final in 2011. Well, that's a long time ago. I was still playing in 2011. That's how long ago it was. But look, you know, this is going to be really, really tough for the Reds. The Crusaders, what a great win they had against the Highlanders. That was a tremendous game. I know I said it earlier, that was a great game. Highlanders had that full money, a yellow card, and the Crusaders just stay in game. They win games they shouldn't win, which is a real, a real sign of a quality team. Um, so the Reds, for, for mine, will have to improve a lot. They've got a lot of key signings this year. They've improved their roster out of sight. You know, Stephen Moore coming, Quaid Cooper, to name a few. And they've got Karevi in that side. They've got a, a star-studded side. But having those, um, you know, that just that win against the Sharks in round one and then losing to the force last week, they need this one. But it's going to be very, very difficult. Tuck the Waratahs South African Roadshow comes to an end in Durban this weekend when they take on the Sharks. They'll need to improve after that performance against the Lions. Yeah, no, I thought, you know, in patches and attack, so, some really good things. 36 points is a lot of points in the game, but to lose, missing 30 tackles in a game of football, Nathan Gray, the defensive coach, will not be happy with that. It looks like Skelton and Fibs are back this week, which will be great inclusions for the guys. Uh, Skelton was great in round one, and Fibs really is getting better and better in this side. He really runs the pack around and also directs traffic well. Foley home with a concussion, a big loss, but they really need to improve after last week. We spoke about the defence earlier, it wasn't good enough. But this week playing the Sharks, Sharks have to do the travel back from Australia, which is a very hard league, and the Waratahs always being in South Africa, so that's an advantage to the Waratahs. And I think they're a good chance, you know, I think the Waratahs really want to get one from two from their tour. Uh, if they can do that, it'll be a successful tour. Having a look at the odds for round three, Tuck, mate. The first round, seven from eight, second round, five from eight. What are you going to give us this week? It's a tough one, Marty, see how I go. Hurricanes beat the Chiefs away, it will be a tight one. Brumbies to beat the Force. Highlands to pip the Blues in Auckland. Crusaders to beat the Reds in Suncorp. Stormers will beat the Kings. Cheetahs will beat the Sunwolves. Waratahs to beat the Sharks. And Lions to beat the Jaguars. A couple of Kelly ones there, Tuck. You've gone both New Zealand away teams and the Brumbies over the Force, even though the Force were a roll. Mate, you know what happened last week when you second guessed me, but you're right. There is three games there that could go either way. The two New Zealand derbies, oh, they're going to be cracker matches. Who knows where they go, but I've just tipped the away teams, think they're doing very well. And obviously the Force Brumbies, that's going to be a great game. Great Australian derby. Uh, Force are going really well. Brumbies not so well in Canberra. I'm looking forward to that game, and it should be a good Australian rugby. All the Australian games will be radio broadcast live on rugby.com.au. Super U20s all weekend long as well. And remember, if you are going to have a bet on any of the footy this weekend, do so responsibly.